Hey guys and girls, what's going on? I welcome you to your 11th HTML5 Canvas tutorial, which is a part of HTML5 and CSS3 tutorial series by ifractioner.com. In today's tutorial, we will be discussing about linear and radial gradients and we will draw a rectangle and fill our rectangle on our canvas with the linear and the radial gradient. A linear gradient, uh, uh, as, as its name suggests, is a gradient from one point to another point in a linear fashion, whereas a radial gradient or a circular gradient is a gradient which zooms out in a form of a circle. So we will be making two canvases and we will be discussing about the linear and the radial gradients and for that matter we would be making an HTML file and we would be using CSS3 and JavaScript within that file so we would be able to understand uh, all these uh, concepts uh, easily. So I am uh, right now using Notepad++ for uh, the editing purposes and you can download it from their website. In Notepad++ I open a new file and save that file as let's say gradients and save uh, select save as type HTML and click on the save button and I will type the tags and tell my H, uh, browser that it's an HTML page and uh, I start an HTML page with an HTML tag and it's an HTML5 page because its doc, doc type is HTML and uh, it will tell our browsers that these pages are HTML5 compliant. And I select the language as English. And uh, now we know that we have got two main parts in our HTML5 pages. The first part is the head, which is usually used for search engines optimization. And the other part is the body D tag which is used which is which contains the main part of or the main contents of our page in the head tag i give a title tag to my page which would appear on the title bar and it's canvas gradient examples and uh, to put a canvas uh, in my page, I use a canvas tag in my body tag, give it an ID of new canvas and I would like my canvas to be 400 by 400 pixels in width and height. So I say that its width would be 400 pixels and its height would be 400 pixels and then I type in a message for those people who have got older browsers and their browser do not support the canvas tag please get a new browser and I close my canvas tag as uh, so there's a problem yeah so always try to check that if your tag has been uh, closed and if it's closed then its color will change like this and you can always minimize your head tag if you are not working with it in notepad plus plus by default if I run my page right now uh, I'm using Chrome so I launch it in Chrome by selecting run and launch in Chrome 
I cannot see my canvas tag. Why is it so? Because by default my, my canvas tag has inherited all the properties of its parent tag which is in this form body. So the background color of my body tag is white so my canvas tag is also white. But I would like to change the properties background properties and the border properties of my canvas and I can do that with the style tag with the cascading style sheets. So in the head tag I introduce a new tag style and close that tag with slash style. And in, in those tags, within those tags I will be writing my style sheets, selectors, properties and value, values. To select uh, a tag with an ID I use hash sign and then the name of or the ID of the object which I would like to select. So it's hash new canvas. I start it with the curly braces and end it with the curly braces. And within those curly braces I will be using the properties and assigning values to those properties. So I want my canvas uh, new canvas to be yellow in color. Therefore I select the property background color yellow. Let's uh, suppose I want it to be grey and I end it with a semicolon and I want the border of my canvas to be 10 pixels solid green in color. I save my gradients.html file, go to my browser and click on reload this page button and now I have got a gray canvas which is 400 by 400 pixels and it has a border of 10 pixels which is solid green and I would like uh, to give uh, a margin to my canvas of 10 pixels from top, right, bottom and left. For that I go to my style tag and write a property margin and just write a shorthand 10 pixels. Click on the save button, click on the refresh button and it has created a canvas with a 10 pixels margin on each side. Now I would be using JavaScript file and uh, JavaScript tags to assign a linear gradient in my canvas. For that, first of all, I would uh, make a rectangle which would be e which would be in uh, which would be of equal size as my canvas and then I would assign a linear gradient color to it and we would do that in the next tutorial so see you guys in the next tutorial take care from ifactioner.com bye bye